back with another quick beat making video. This is another soul sampled uh, East Coast style hip hop beat. I'm previewing the sample right now on my MPD32. I've got Ableton live set up. So here's just kind of a little bit what the sample sounds like. Uh, I did end up pitching it down a half step. Nothing too crazy here. Uh, here's some of the sample chops that I actually ended up using for the sequence, which I'll I'll play here in just a second. So here's just a little preview into what the first sample sequence sounds like. I typically work in eight bar sequences at a time. Um, some people do four, but I just typically find it easier if I can put together eight bars at a time and just kind of branch off from that. Next was the drums, just to some basic uh, drum pattern, just to get a little more of the groove going. If you like these type of kits, I've got a, a number of other sound kits and drum kits on the website. Just adding a little more percussion, shakers. I've also added some open hats and some other percussion sounds. But what you're seeing me recreate on the pads right now is the shaker sequence. So next is the bass lines. One of you may already know or have heard me talk about what, what low in theory is. I didn't actually use low in theory for this particular track, but what you're hearing right now is the filtered bass line. And I did this just to get a sense of what bass was in the original sample. Uh, and now what you're hearing is more or less a recreation or some variation of that original bass line. I'm using one of the bass patches that was in the T Customs bass sample pack. So it just gives it a more cleaner sound uh, when you go to the mix. All right, so next was the second sample sequence. So pretty much the way this beat was structured was two eight bar sequences that just kind of alternate back and forth. I'm just previewing some of those samples now. And what you'll notice is when I start recording here, I'm not actually triggering the first two sample chops. And that's because they are the exact same from the first sequence. And for this, again, I'm just kind of filling in the gaps and just making it make sense to kind of ride out, you know, for a few minutes for an entire instrumental, give it a little bit of variation and, and mix it up. So that's pretty much it. You know, I may have added a couple other percussive sounds or just little subtle elements to kind of fill it up a little bit. But a lot of your East Coast tracks, they don't necessarily have to be super complex. A lot of it comes down to the formatting and structuring and, and arranging and all that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, this instrumental is entitled I'm Sure. It's available for licensedtcustoms.com. The sound kits are available there as well. So if you got anything else, just let me know in the comments. I'll talk to you soon.